We hope you're enjoying this program. It's brought to you by Toyota. Maker of yeah. <laughs> Now, would you please welcome Natalie Miller? Natalie, thanks Hi. for coming in. You just showed that to relax me, didn't you? Yeah, just to get you into it. What, what, do you th what goes through your head when you see those old tapes? How cute, no. <laughs> I was, oh, no, it's fun. It's good memories, I, I guess, but it's always funny seeing yourself a few years ago. When did you get into uh, showbiz? Um, I started dancing lessons when I was five years old, so basically I've been doing it my whole life. Did you do all the Ice Steadfords and all those sorts of things? Certainly did. <laughs> did Heaps. Did you win the medals? Did you podium? Yeah, I've got about a hundred trophies at my mum and dad's place and quite a few hundred medals as well. What do they give you trophies for? I mean, what are the categories for those sorts of things? Um, there was tap, like fast tap, slow tap, waltz. Medium tap? Medium tap. Yeah, <laughs> yeah then there's the jazz and ballet, everything. Do you remember your very first stage appearance? Yeah, I think I actually did ballet, which I'm a terrible ballerina, so I don't think I did very well. What was your first <laughs> telly appearance? Uh, that would have been a contestant on Young Talent Time. And you obviously won. No, I didn't. Ah, good. Better <laughs> rate that then. Ross, do you remember your first appearance? Your very yeah, first... Yeah, I was actually on a very earlier uh, version of Young Talent Time years before. It was called Young Embryo Time. Oh. Ah, yeah. <laughs> and I used to do... Did you ever do this? I used to love the thing about... You know, I have the problem with my hair too. No. <laughs> <laughs> the thing you is... The thing is, did you ever do that? I used to love watching Young Talent Time. You know that classic move they always used to do? It used to be sort of this one. And they'd do the hands that would sort of go... <laughs> did you ever do that one? Oh, that was just me, well, sorry. <laughs> that was, I uh... did worse. <laughs> and we'll discuss exactly what Natalie did worse after the break. <laughs> Fast forward Thursday it goes something like this. Take it down, the elevator's 20 degrees. 20 degrees. 20 degrees. Starboard. 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 <laughs> Welcome back on with Ross and Natalie. Natalie, is it hard to eradicate the young talent time image? Is it difficult? Well, I think it's a lot easier since it actually finished. And, but I don't have trouble, no. I've sort of went out of the limelight for a couple of years, I guess. And it doesn't bother me. Anyway. It's not something you're conscious of. You're not deliberately no, going out of your no. way to try what did you do during the couple of years? Well, when I first finished, I did a tour for about a year off and on with another ex-member, his name's Vince Del Tito. Mm -hmm. And we sort of did a, I guess you could say, cabaret show around the RSLs and Leeds clubs, all up the coast and back down and up again, and which was a lot of fun. And then after about a year, I started writing and recording my own material and sort of looking for what sort of slot I wanted to go into with my own career. So. And then James Rain, uh, you got together with James? Yeah, well, uh, there was a few cover bands before that and then James asked me and Nisha, who's the other singer, if we'd like to do the tour and we were sort of in rehearsals a week later. Are you good at living out of a suitcase? <sighs> I take too many clothes. <laughs> I just, I'm such a bad packer, but yeah, I'm pretty good. I keep pretty tidy most are, of the time. Are you time. a good traveller, Roscoe? you good at relocating yes, I travel in a suitcase, actually. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a briefcase. <laughs> so I have a little pointy shoe sticking out the end. Can, can you pick yourself up and relocate to another place with minimum Certainly, fuss? Certainly, no problem. Thanks, Ross. I appreciate that. <laughs> and I was thinking more in terms of moving from one city to another. I was thinking, because you've recently yes, moved... Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Thanks. <laughs> I'll come back now. Yes, yes. yes, I've moved to Melbourne just recently. I'm living in St Kilda. Which is yeah, a pretty cool place. The head of Neighbourhood Watch is a drug dealer. <laughs> I don't know what he's watching. He can't focus on anything. But uh... 
And you like Melbourne? Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, great to be here. I'll probably get beaten up in St Kilda <laughs> tonight, but hey. There you go, St Kilda. What about stage door... Uh, uh, Johnny's, Jilly's. Jilly's, groupies, that groupies, sort of thing. Groupies is the word I'm searching oh, for. Well, yeah. it's, it's a bit strange. Sometimes, actually, uh, I was down in Adelaide recently and I was working uh, in the festival club down there and I'd been on stage and it was a really good night. The audience were laughing, uh, you know. Always you like them to do, <laughs> yeah. And it was going really... I, will, I come off stage and I'm, I think I was dressed in black just for a change. Or so, and I'm standing near the end of the bar and this woman came over and she was like going... And I thought, oh, yeah, she's just seen me on stage. She wants the autograph, or my body, one of the two. <laughs> and she came and she went, and I, I went, and she went, and I leaned forward and she said, Scotch and ice, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> thought I was working. The big, uh, the, the, big, the big impact. I'm with Ross and Natalie. We're going to take a break. Back after this with Ron Barassi. Check her out. Oh, and I'm going to take a jump and oh!